Hello, welcome to Gagap House. In this lesson, or it is our lesson six, to learn the Chinese characters. For this Chinese character, I join a original form to all of you first, and you just try to guess what does it mean. And firstly, we have this part. And and then this part Can you guess what's that? Gives you three seconds. Three, two, one. I think some of you may guess it. It's just similar to a bird. And for this word, we pronounce as G G. It means chicken. Is this similar to a chicken? And for this word, G, firstly. This word is just similar to the word juk j j juk j j e e similar to e c e j e z z e z and it means chicken and originally the form is this one for this form. This part it means a slave, and this part it is a bird. So for the original original meaning, it means a bird without freedom. So what kind of bird without freedom? It is domestic bird. And nowadays we use this classic word as this one. It means chicken, chicken. And with this word, they also are divided into a three part. First part is this part. This word we call it qi. Qi. It means make somebody feel embarrassing, embarrassed. And for the second one is this word. This is are the radical of Yuan. It means people. And we still have this part. So for the whole word, how can we write it? First, one, two, three, four. In the middle, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. And then the other part, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you want to know more about Chinese character, you can go to gigapass.com, and this is our QR code.